Hello there guys, good afternoon from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I'll be doing two episodes. First episode I'm going to do from the house of Salvatore Ferragamo. And today I would like to wish all the Muslims all over the world Ramadan Karim or Ramadan Mubarak because today is the first official day in Bangladesh uh, for fasting month, right? So it's going to be one month of fasting, uh, fasting, sorry, fasting, fasting. Yeah. So hopefully you stay safe, you know, and then, you know, focus on your health as well. And uh, have a wonderful month of Ramadan. So uh, here we go. So first episode, as I was telling you, I want to do Salvatore Ferragamo. And I want to focus on particularly one line. I have reviewed this uh, house before. I talked about Salvatore Ferragamo. Um, F line, F black, F the free time, casual time. You know, like the, 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 those ones. But uh, uh, Salvatore has quite a few fragrances. I do not have a bunch of them. I reviewed about... 15 fragrance from this house including men's and women's so let's look at uh, the umo line basically the umo started with this fragrance you know i didn't know i don't want to start with that one but uh, this is the original umo i'll talk about it a bit later but i would like to start with the freshies okay and i'm doing this to help out people you know who are just starting the game most of you know these perfumes like in the game and these are not brand new releases so those who are new in the game trying to look at the line perhaps this line dog will help first one i'll show you it's called casual life uh, this ones they're all the same bottle pattern but they follow different coloration and these are all 100 ml luckily for me i have not the small bottles they have a stopper at the side as you can see the plasticky stopper and they look like kind of cheap but i really like the sprayers massive sprayer good sprayers so this one uh, i would like to start with uh, why because this is for me um there uh, there is the uh, winter heavy ones there are some of them are spring and some one of them is summer this one you can wear for summer and spring both um i got this partial from one of the brothers i really wanted it it was very intriguing for me because this is a fresh gourmand you know it's somewhere between a sweet and a fresh fragrance and the fragrance kind of like smells sweet but at the same time there's some sort of citrusy elements and some lighter elements which let me just respray this on my hand Yeah, I just sprayed some on my hand. This one smells really unique. You know, to be honest, I don't have, I think there's a violet leaves note. It smells like that one. It smells like a bit sweet, a bit violet leaves, a bit freshness up top, a bit ozonic. At the same time, the dry down, you get some of that, you know, that gourmandish vibe, you know, uh, not to say a coffee place, but it does have a gourmand sweetness. Okay, I'm not quite sure what that it's coming from but i think it's a plenty nice uh, fresh perfume you can work appropriate you can wear, wear this for work you'll smell very distinguished uh, you can wear this for your dates a uh, longevity and projection on this one <coughs> this particular one it's uh for me is moderate not very long lasting like the some of the other ones but this is very nice fragrance and the bottle is very very pretty so this is the uvomo casual life it's a casual uh formal you know very versatile kind of perfume you can wear this early days of fall and winter it will do really really well <clears throat> second fragrance i want to show you i actually don't have the fifth one there are five in this line there's a limited edition or special edition i don't have that that's the latest release but this one is the last one i bought which was a newer flanker which is called urban field this was not released recently though this one also has the same bottle but this in this one it's all painted blue okay so urban field basically uh, the sprayer urban feel basically i i know this i recently bought this and i sort of reviewed it back in the time with a sample this fragrance basically um, it's a very nice safe opening it's the same uh, blue uh, family that it belongs is like say let's say dylan blue savage yeah it belongs to the same family but the opening is so beautiful this is a 10 out of 10 opening you know it smells better than savage in the opening for me even dylan blue um, it, it's like it's nice opening but this one i really like the opening over many other blue fragrances it's very sweet blue i don't know if this uh, ambroxan that carries this fragrance through but i really enjoy this really really lovely perfume uh, longevity is better than the casual life so i would say this is better than average uh, it's very work gym energetic you know like gym and office appropriate once again casual uh, day to day you know like in the sunny days it definitely smells nice a uh, projection is not as beastly but it's a fresh blue perfume and people smell you definitely it's a nice little uh, fragrance on a dry down it smells not that gourmand it smells like fresh clean like simple perfume and it's like the same everyday perfume that you wear you find it like in many other blue fragrances but the opening is very gorgeous okay so this fragrance i definitely like in the summer days i wear this a lot but uh, the two 
fragrances here are not beast by any mean but longevity is better at urban feel so this perfume you can give it a try i would say in the whole line this one it's one fragrance perhaps if you have coach for him or you have fragrances like uh, prada luna rosa carbon then you'll find similarity to this then it will be redundant a little bit but they're different than each other in their own ways so it's a nice one so the next one i want to talk about is the originator of them all and my most favorite in the line is called salvatore ferragamo vomo the original one um, i have a little bit story uh, attached to this i saw this being released in 2016 before i left malaysia and that's when it was released i think 16 or 15 i forgot this fragrance got a lot of love a lot of love from people and especially it really surprised me fragrance guru mark robes 08 this one made one of his fall fragrance i think top uh, five or top three or even the number one i don't remember exactly but he praised this highly he sang high praises of this like he said this is one of the best underrated sweet gourmet fragrances it supposedly has a coffee note you know this got this tiramisu vibe like a sweet cake vibe but mostly he said it's a sweet fragrance like a sweet uh, like a explosion you know if you like pure tonka by theory mugle valentino more intense this one would definitely be in your uh, arsenal especially in the colder months if it's winter time it's uh, raining and you know no, no, sorry not raining snowing uh, if you're making you know warm coffee or cocoa at home a uh, christmas time amazing bit spicy sweet i just love this perfume this is my third bottle i think i'm on and this fragrance will always be in my collection this is one of the best designer fragrances in my humble opinion in my uh, journey you know very very beautiful perfume just there is salvatore ferragamo no one talks about it so basically those are the three so last one i want to talk about it's the one I bought um, in winter time. I liked it a lot in winter, but after winter, it's very difficult to pull it off. This is called Salvatore Ferragamo uh, Vomo Signature, okay, the black bottle. This is really beautiful bottle, by the way. All of them are, but this one is all like a uh, painted black, looks very slick. Uh, this one, it's for me, is the darkest out of all. Uh, if you like the Vomo one, and you want a little bit more uh, like mature vibe than this if you want added leather this one has some added leather to it which makes it more masculine it's a bit darker it's really long lasting uh, for me only downside with this perfume is it's a bit less versatile you cannot pull this off in the um, warmer months i think it will be a big mistake because if you wear this in a warmer month it will be very uh, sweet and it will be very uh, how to say there's no freshness in this one um, so uh, this one is particularly it's just for winter strictly this one you can wear in winter and fall even like rainy nights i would say the vomo you can wear this in rainy nights a cooler cooler summer days okay and uh, this one it's more versatile compared to this so these two you can say winter sort of appropriate sweet this one has some freshness up to fresh gourmet touch but you definitely smell that tiramisu sort of vibe or forget about tiramisu if you enter let's say a pastry shop or pastry slash uh, Starbucks sort of, you know, and they have uh, do donuts and stuff, cakes, and, uh, you know, there's some sweets or some pastries and stuff. This one will definitely remind you of that. Amazing fragrance for me is the number one. And other two, you know, here, they're really nice. You know, like if you want to collect a line, the best thing about this line is not super expensive. These are well within $45 in Bangladesh. Uh, sometimes I think now it's $55, some of them, but uh, it's still within affordable budget, $50 and down. You know, it's really good budget. Overseas, I think these are, this can be had for 30 something dollars. You know, that is excellent. We don't get those prices because of the taxes, but it's a line worthy of collecting. It's a nice little uh, whole line of uh, fragrance. I'm pretty sure they're going to release some more. I wish I had that a limited edition i don't i want to smell that but I, some people told me it's similar to vomo so i didn't want to pay the extra money it has a kind of studded pattern around the neck so overall the description i gave you uh, for me you know if you ask me which one is a must have you know there's no such thing as must have or don't don't want to have you know nothing is must have fragrance i never must have fragrance are for collecting purpose it's a hobby it's a luxury um, to some extent you know it's kind of like a madness uh, <laughs> addiction but <clears throat> And then there's nothing, no such thing called master fragrances. You can look at them. You definitely do not blind by anything. Just because I said this is the best, do not take me for granted. You know, I'm just a reviewer. I'm telling you uh, my opinion as a customer because I use them. So I know my, from my experience. All of them are nice. For If you want summer, get the urban feel. You know, that's my suggestion. If you want something for spring, you know, like something a little gourmet but sweet and fresh at the same time. This one reminds me a little bit of Givenchy Gentleman only because of that violet leaves up top but it's nice little gourmand and uh, this one overall all year round you can wear it i mean 
in the summertime perhaps wear less just two sprays or, or three this one for strictly for winter so that's the salvatore ferragamo vomo line talk hopefully you enjoyed it and give them a try do you like this line and which one is your favorite have a nice day i'll see you soon uh, take care bye bye